Hello, this is Dirty Quill, and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge for the 10th of November. Today we have an easy Sunday, and we are killing three foundry officers as fast as possible. And we will be doing that with a self-charging slipstream, which will indeed let us go fast. Uh, we are frail, so we'll need to be extra careful about that, especially if we're going back to loot ships. And we are shaky, so... Unless we get a shotgun, firearms aren't going to be the most use. And vindictive doesn't really matter because if we get shot, well, it could, it could potentially save us if we get shot. And then it can blow up whoever is trying to take us out. But we'll try not to let it come to that. And then we have a foundry brick. Which actually makes me want to experiment a bit. Um, oh, there's no alarm response. All right. So I'm wondering if we can do this assassination in zero seconds. Because the timer doesn't actually start unless the pilot is near. And the main thing I'm risking is if I screw up the recovery on this brick, then I'd have to buy a new pod. And then I lose quite a bit of bonus. Alright, as apparently it does not show me where the target is, unless I'm controlling the myself. Alright, so if we hit any of these three rooms, then we're good. practiced a whole lot with this and being good at aiming so this may take a few tries or I can do it perfectly all right we'll let this play out a bit oh and I did not think about how I can't loot it but I've got a self, I've got a slipstream. And, and I guess another nice thing about doing it this way is if I, if my pilot is not in the ship, then I can do this in slow motion and it's very easy. Um, so I wonder if the ship will stay here for as long as my brick is near. Can I leave? Nope. Alright. So I didn't think this completely through, so I've lost all hope of being able to loot it. Yep, it's gone. On the other hand, I had a zero second first ship. The next one. See, this one's target flees, so it's much more risky to try this on this one. However, I will take a look at where the target is located. They're in the front, so if I hit, I'd have to hit either here or here, or block off the telepad, which is in the middle, so that's not happening. Um, I'm trying to think if there's a way 
Yeah. So if I do miss, then I lose a significant amount of time of repairing the ship or the pod. And during that time, they'll get most of the way at least to the telepad, at which point it'd be very difficult to stop them. So I'm just going to take the zero seconds of the first ship and just do this one normally. A bit rough, but four seconds. All right. Do you think I want to throw my short blade at them? And then I can just stab them. Stab them. And what do I have? Stealth shields. Autopilot and... Okay. So this is a interesting point this this guy will be killed or at least block off the telepad if I break this 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 or this or this so that gives me two spots here and three spots here. And so I am a bit tempted to try that. Because the alternative is running very far. And with that, I could get a, a zero penalty on this mission as well very appealing and then ooh that is that is very pretty I'm just, I'm just gonna look at this for a little bit, sorry. Both the shades and the, the pattern as it spreads out. Ooh, that is, that is very pretty. I, I love the abstract art that you can get from these. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll take that as a sign to just do this normally. already saved a good amount of time. Would it be faster to run down here or wait? I'll run down here a little bit. Alright. Mm, gun. Having a gun. off and they're setting off the alarm let's continue through here and get a gun One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, that's way closer. Star 
getting this in position. Unfortunately, that was 11, 12 seconds, which is sadly just above the mark, and I do not like how close this is to the star. Right, I think this is fine. five and we'll head back out yeah, I gotta be careful of not being in slow motion to get kind of ooh percussion hammer that and I do need to remember that I am frail. That is very important. through that corner just a little bit. Taken care of, and we're on to the last ship. Okay, target fleas again. See, so yeah, if it was anything but target fleas, then we could just repeatedly smash the ship with the brick and always be safe. But we got chamber gates, emergency shields. Heat sensors. Um, with the shotgun, I don't think I need any more of those. Let's take a look at the ship. We got a target in the middle again. Telepad at the very back. Hmm. I think I might. I think I'll try and dock and then. I'll 
dock and scope out the situation and if there's a wide range of areas down here that I can easily brick then I might back out and then see if I can uh, take out the pathway at least in under the 10 seconds and then just blow up the rest of the ship with it. So I will need a... If I concentrate too much on docking then I do poorly at it. But let's hope I get at least under 5 seconds. Okay, four seconds. All right. Ooh. So there's a lot of pathways right here. So in, okay, in order to stop them completely, if I hit in any of these areas, then I'm good. And then there's a lot of branching over here. And then if I, Ooh. So if I hit anywhere on the front, or here, or anywhere along here, then there they can't escape. All right. So keep that in mind. So we got one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, and then these two. All right, Burned pod, back off. Ooh, nine seconds. All right, I'm gonna toss myself in here or catch myself. sure I get in. I do love though that it is technically possible if you had a good hit on the second ship to complete this daily mission in zero seconds. Which, now that I think about it, that might be the only way to get a, like a potential way to get a 600. And now I'm kind of wishing that I'd tried it, but the risk was great. that time it is very hard to hit this narrow target So now, as long as I don't screw up the recovery of fixing the ship, 
then I can get this in nine seconds. specifically want to hit that went through it looked like get to be those get going super fast if you're not in slow-mo or constantly pausing not paying attention oh dear okay D and that. okay I need to pay attention don't pay any heed to the guards flying out into space okay let's take stock okay I could have sworn it was that they were in this one was it one down? I don't know. Let's keep striking. No, thank you. Don't press A. Hold D, hold click, hold S. I'll destroy this whole ship if I have to. No, I don't want to dock. Destroy this. So, how's everybody's day going? I guess I haven't really tried this multiple striking before because I've never run into this problem of it trying to dock and that's clearly not what I'm trying to do at this speed and I'm sometimes going through
Oof. This is getting... This is much more difficult than I was anticipating. through it. possible that the target was on patrol or something to that effect. Or they just moved after the first explosion. So I'm going to try going from the front again. We're going to exhaust all our avenues here before boarding again. went directly through this. So that's... That's making me wonder if there's something in place on the back end that prevents you from doing a ton of bricks. Uh, what happens if I uncontrol it? Okay, so that worked. So it might just be, oh dear, oh day. This is getting stressful. <laughs> On the plus side, this is, if I do fail this, uh, we are on a as fast as possible mission. Which means that unless somebody else is using this same scenario on all the ships, uh, there's no such thing as a perfect score. And so buying a new pod is not the absolute end of the world. that just getting the zero on the first ship is enough to get me first but I want to do this <laughs> but the ship doesn't seem to want me to So anytime it goes like, yeah, let's do some testing. Oof. So if I'm even close, whoa, Did that successfully dock. Seems like it did for a moment. But yeah, it looks like in order to break this piece, I'd have to hit like right at the corner. Do 
get away from there. possible to hit that part. <sighs> I may have to give up on this. Let's see. Let's see if I can bounce off this. Nope. Nope. This is, this is the last place that I can possibly break on this side. Well, let's, okay. Let's stop with that and let's see. Ooh, more pretty art. Let's see where the target is. So the target is right here. So why, oh, that, they're, they're covered by a wall there, I think. So if, I, uh, if I'd been one room next to it, then I think I would have, no, because there's a wall there too. Hmm. I didn't completely think this through because I don't actually have a way to suck him out. Uh, through breaches. Okay, do one, a couple more tries, and then we'll just have to go back to normal. On the plus side, I've got a whole bunch of docking spots to get right next to them. So I think I, I, think I want to go here. All right. And then there's a good chance that may have been faster to just slip stream through it because two docks and two releases or like going back words is a lot of time but with the Sidewinder, I can get off really fast, and I, as long as I don't screw it up, I can at least get below 20 seconds. All right, right there is my target. Eh, no point in trying to get lucky with this shot. Just teleport here. Slam. Teleport here. Turn. And off. Nineteen. Yes. 
All right, so we managed to get 10 points. And yeah, 10 penalty in total. And oh, look at how close I was. Ah. I, I wonder if Kesa did the first thing on the first ship or if they were just able to do it, do the first ship or second ship possibly, uh, just super fast under 10 seconds. Because I guess depending on what loot was in the first ship, I didn't even have a look at it really. Um, there could have been something that would have really sped up on uh, the second ship or the third ship. Like a subverter or something to that effect. Yeah, I could, I could see a, a subverter getting that third ship or something down. But, ah, I was, I was feeling so clever. And yet I fell just barely short. And we'll, we'll see if we're able to keep it up for the next day. Oh, who knows if someone else will use the same strategy. And as for yesterday, how oh, I, okay, I was wondering why the third ship was so small, but it is an easy Sunday. So that makes sense. All right. And I wish I'd, I wish I had learned, thought about um, how there weren't many opportunities to directly uh, fling the target out in space in the third one. Because they were surrounded by walls on any outlying one. And apparently you can't break through two layers of a ship using the, the crash brick thing. But anyways, yesterday I did end up taking first, which was expected because I did that pretty close to the end just a few hours ago. So yay, getting 38 seconds. It's very nice. Anyways, uh, I think this has been a pretty long recording because <laughs> I was trying that for so long. But that will be the end of today. I'll see you tomorrow.